Welcome. This is Property Analysis Worksheet Short Form Cash on Cash Return Video Tutorial Number 1. My name is Jeffrey Smith. This spreadsheet has grown over time to where it has more than 255 mail merge fields. In the earlier video tutorials, I showed you how to import those mail merge fields into Microsoft Word by pointing Word directly at the saved spreadsheet. Now that the spreadsheet is much larger, you need to use the Save CSV button to save a comma separated values text file. And when you use the mail merge templates, you point Microsoft Word at the CSV file to bring in the mail merge fields. In this spreadsheet tutorial, I have added a new section at the bottom called Cash on Cash Return. This calculation is included over on the Quick Turn Summary Presentation Sheet in this area, as well as on the Wholesale Opportunity Presentation Sheet. This is intended to show your private financier the true return on their investment, whereas you are showing in this example a calculation of about 12% annualized return on their investment. You're also showing that they're getting an incentive fee in this case of 10% of your gross profit, $2,888. If you take the incentive fee and add it to your profit margin, you'll see that the gross profit is $28,877. 10% of that is $2,888. When you add in a front fee or a back fee or both, you are increasing the yield to your private financier. In this example, we show that the interest is compounded over three months. There is no monthly debt service, but they get a 10% participation share of your gross profit on the back end in addition to the interest charge on their loan. Therefore, their total return on their investment is 29.77%. When you can show these hard numbers to your private financier, they are highly incentivized to do business with you and to invest in future projects with you. For example, suppose you had a front fee of say four thousand dollars. Let's change this field to four thousand. Call it an acquisition fee. It's up here in the hard cost section because it is cash out of pocket. In this other section these are soft costs. It's the exit costs. These are handled when you sell the property to end buyer and it's handled as an accounting matter on the HUD-1 settlement statement. Go up here to the front fee, put in a formula reference, and now you're paying him $4,000 right up front out of the $62,782 that he is providing at closing. Therefore, your net proceeds in this deal are $58,782. You're still paying a back fee on the back end of your gross profit. His return is still $67,572, but now his rate of return is 57% annualized. You can do different scenarios, such as you could set the interest rate to zero, set the fee to zero on both front and back end for the moment 
Now let's do some what-if calculations. Let's set up debt service at 14% annualized rate. The monthly service is 790. Now they're getting 14.03% annualized rate of return on their investment. We could change that back to zero and say we'll give you 25% of the back end profits. And then point to the back end profit. Now they're getting 56% return on their investment. They put in $58,909 on the back end, they're getting back the $58,909 plus $8,600 profit. That amounts to a 56% annualized return on their investment. What if you split the profits 50%? And let's increase the investment to value to say 85%. Make the ARV an even 100,000. Now they're putting in 60,000, taking out 75,000 in just three months. Their annualized yield is almost 93%. And you're splitting the gross profit 50 50. That is 15,000 for your financier. And net profit for you, 15000 shows your gross profit on the deal is 30000 You can experiment with different what-if scenarios to determine a fair yield to your private financier. These calculations, as I mentioned, are carried over to the quick turn summary, which is what you show to a potential private financier when you're looking to finance this project after you have it under contract. Once this project is complete and your financier is paid off, they will be begging you to finance your next deal. This has been Property Analysis Worksheet Short Form Cash on Cash Return Video Tutorial Number 1. My name is Jeffrey Smith and thank you for your support.